Um, I just wanted to show a couple modifications I made to the sharpening jig. I um, oriented it this way as opposed to the other way and I also added the handle. Alright, well here's a better look. Um, first thing I did, I had this cleat. I had this cleat on the front and I had the jig put in my vise like that. Um, the change I made was to turn it and put it on the side here like this so I can clamp it in the vise like this. And what that uh, does is it puts the jig this way now. Uh, the reason for that is I added a handle here on the front that lets me hold on to it comfortably and run the blade across the stone like this. And I can put a lot of pressure down on to get a really fast grind. The jig can still be used the same way as I was using it before, like this, and the handle doesn't get in the way at all. So I think it's a good addition to the, to the jig. Uh, while I'm out here, I thought I would, um, I thought I would sharpen this, um, this plain iron. Um, this is a Stanley uh, low angle block plane that I bought uh, a couple years ago. Um, I mainly bought it to replace this one, uh, which is in kind of rough shape. I got this back in, uh, ooh, I think 1985. Uh, actually, my father gave it to me for Christmas. And uh, it was a cheap block plane. Um, but the. Um, Thing is, I've been using this one ever since, and even though it's in rough shape, it seems to work better than this one. Uh, so I still use it. Uh, in comparison to blade steel, um, this blade and this blade are vastly different. Um, the quality of the steel on this blade seems to be quite a bit better than this one. Uh, and Honestly, I don't know why that is. This is there's not a lot of steel here, and I don't know why they couldn't um, use a, a better quality of steel. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put an edge on this that I can use. Um, when it came, it just had the standard uh, 25 degree bevel, um, no secondary bevel. So needless to say, I quickly lost this edge because it's not very hard. And um, not that it had much of an edge to begin with. Uh, so I'm going to take it now and put a 30 degree um, secondary bevel on it and see how it cuts. Okay, I've got the blade set up in the uh, tool cradle. And um, to make sure that I'm getting a, a straight grind across, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color it with this marker and then try it to see um, where it's cutting. Let's take that and I can see, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but I can see um, that it has a nice even grind right across. So that looks good. Okay, I'm not going to use the handle for this because I don't have to take much off. Like I said, this uh, this iron is is pretty soft, so it's not going to take long at all. And uh, and I think you know I've got a little bit of a nick on the end there, so I'm going to try to get that down. Yeah, I think that's good. I've got a, I've got a good burr right across. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it out of the tool cradle, and uh, 
I don't know if you can see that, how much. Uh, I've got almost an eighth of an inch uh, wide secondary bevel on here now. Uh, that's how soft this steel is. Um, there's no way I could grind this one down that fast. So I'm just going to remove the burr. Like that. And uh, it should be good to go. They say the true test of how sharp it is is to try to plane some end grain and I've got a piece of pine uh, clamped in the uh, vise and I'll just uh, see what, how it works. Um, seems to be cutting pretty good. Like I said in the article, the blade can be taken further by polishing it, um, but for what I do, um, I think this is sharp enough. Okay, that was pine. Um, this is maple. I'll try it out on that. Uh, maple is quite a bit harder than pine though. Oh yeah, it's cutting pretty good. The uh, the uh, edge seems to be holding up pretty well too. By changing it to 30 degrees, you make a, um, a, an edge that uh, will last longer because there's actually more metal behind the tip to, to keep it stronger. Um, the original 25 degree bevel uh, is a little bit too sharp. It, the edge is a little bit too fragile for a softer steel like this plane blade. Doesn't seem to have any problem with this maple. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.